it. So when should an athlete start training, whether they're in middle school, elementary school, high school? It's, uh, there's a lot of science that goes into that answer, and uh, hopefully it'll be a great asset for you. I, I would consider strength training just moving your body. So you could start fifth, sixth grade, and we're not externally loading the kid with a bar, or a, a dumbbell, or med ball. It's just teaching them the basic mechanics of how to control their body in space. They're going to gain a lot of strength from that, proprioception awareness. And then as they age, as they mature, then we can start focusing more on the external resistance, whether it be the weight on the bar or how fast they're moving the weight on the bar. The quality of the weight moves outweighs the quantity 10 times out of 10. It doesn't matter if you can squat 1,000 pounds or 200 pounds. If you can squat 200 pounds efficiently, um, you're going you're gonna to get the full benefit out of the exercise, whereas somebody who's, who's squatting a maximum amount of weight, who struggles with the technique, setting themselves up for injury, um, you know, the, the risks far outweigh the benefit. We, if we want to think of resistance training in the terms of uh, how society perceives resistance training in the weight room with the bar in the hands, um, I would advocate 13, 14, and that's going to be probably different for a male and a female. Females tend to uh, mature a little faster than the males, so maybe an eighth grade uh, girl, she might be ready to, to come into the weight room and where an eighth grade male, um, majority of times, not quite ready. But uh, freshman, sophomore in high school, it's going to be expected that most of the high schools that they're in a weight training class, they're participating in the sport, they're going to be, they're going to be lifting weights. So our job is to, to set the, the kids up to succeed in that, in that setting and reduce as many injuries as we can. Let's say a, a freshman who's starting football, they're on a team of 100 kids, they're in the high school weight room. and. They don't necessarily have the luxury we have here of, of small groups and it's very personable. There it's, it's a large group and they're just essentially a number. So the risk is, is greater in a setting outside of the performance center. Here we take an approach where we're not gonna put the kid uh, at risk, if you will. The focus needs to be on, on technique rather than the weight. That's what we stress to our kids. He said quality over quantity. Let it fall.